Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today is MX Art. Now the die that I've decided to use for MX Art is this one and it's a bunch of grapes and a kind of you know swirly twirly doodah viney bit with leaves yeah. So I want to incorporate that but I got some new stuff so I'm going to incorporate it into my new stuff. So first of all I'm just going to um, put down my scruffy mat because we're going to put it together and, and make it. So there's my die from MX Art and I've got my Dollar Tree glue. Um, I'm trying to get that off there. <laughs> yeah, don't really want that on camera. Hair falling out of my head, getting old. And I'm using touch new markers. I'm going to do it really, really simply. I'm going to try and get that in focus. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, that's just awful. Yeah. Oh, so we're going vivid green, deep olive green and ultramarine. Now, the interesting thing about this ultramarine is I'm pretty sure I'm not going colorblind. But um, it looks purple to me, so that's what I'm using. So I'm having purple grapes. I've got a white gel pen so I can do some highlights. But I want to share the new stuff that I've got that I intend to use with it. Right, first up from eBay, I got myself a couple of new embossing folders. And these are Darius ones. So you've got that lovely frame there, which, you know, I'm going to use on some other projects, but I just really like it. And I've got this one, which is the one that I'm using today. And it's a kind of buffalo-y, checky, and it's scalloped on the inside. And I really like that. Um, very easy to colour your edges if you're using a blending foam. So I'm going to be using that. And that's one of my new goodies. And... Um, I'm also going to be using my stamps. I've got my sunflower stamps. Now, if you always check out my daily hot picks, um, you'll know that most of what I put down there is what I'm buying myself. And this is one of the sunflower stamp sets. And this is the one that I've used for today. It's absolutely gorgeous. It stamps absolutely perfectly. But you get those two lovely little swaggy borders in that set. And I also got this one, which matches, and it's the flowers and the seed heads, or shall I say the buds, on their own. And this particular flower here, if you look at the shape of that, I put my hand under it, matches into this one here. So you can stamp that and fussy cut it, and you can layer it up on that one and get yourself some dimension, if you like sunflowers. So it's kind of feeling a little bit autumn, isn't it? And from the same seller, I also got the Bloom background, which I haven't stamped yet. And <laughs> as long as I can remember, I'm going to stamp that right at the very end because I like to make sure my stuff works before I leave feedback. Right, so using new goodies, here we go. I've already cut myself a piece of a white cardstock, which is going to be my background. I've done the embossing folder and I've cut it and I've inked it and that's what that looks like and that will be hopefully <laughs> in the centre because you know me, yeah. So I've done it in um, fossilised amber and black soot on the edges but isn't it a great folder? I just think that's wonderful. I mean, I'm doing a kind of awesome theme today, you know, just before we start summer. But if you were thinking summer and you did that in red and you've got your whole picnic or barbecue thing going on, or even not, it's just a great one to emboss ink and put your barbecue invite message in there or a party invite for a garden party. I just think it's wonderful. Going to be great for Christmas too. So I'll stop wittering and I've coloured me embossing in. I've inked the edge and I've got my white background. Those will be popped up on foam. And I did the stamp that I showed 
and I've stamped and coloured that and those are my sunflowers so you know I think the orientation of my card today is going to be that way around and that's going to feature in there and I'm going to go off and die cut grapes and I'm going to have sort of like grapes hanging around on the top section there so that's what I'm going to be doing and remembering to stamp that stamp so I'm going to run off and I'm going to die cut this and I'll be straight back okay so I ran away and I did my die cutting and I also cut a couple of extra grapes and a spare leaf just in case because you just never know what you're going to get up to but I do like to work in odd numbers which is why I've got my three bunches of grapes and I kept the whole die together and just run that through on the um, heavyweight Amazon cardstock that I use right and I also put foam uh, pads from Dollar Tree underneath there you can see all those so that's now on its base and I also pop this up on a strip of foam. I don't know if you can see down there. So that's all stuck down. And then it's going to be a matter of where I'm going to kind of like have that all going on behind there. So, I mean, that is great as it is. You could just put your, you know, your thankful, grateful, autumn, whatever it is that you wanted to put up there. Or you could even use bumblebees, use a paler yellow and uh, try and make it more summer. So that's the base all done. Right, so really easy. When you're using heavyweight cardstock, your pieces are very likely to stay in and that makes life easier for you. So I'm trying to think. I'm just going to do one of my grapes. I'm going to go in and you can see this. It just does not look ultramarine to me. It looks grapey purple, you know, like grape jelly. So I'm quite happy to just use this one. I don't know if it's going to dry any paler. I mean, when I bought this set of um, markers from AliExpress at Christmas, I treated myself and uh, I did get the full set and I think it's like 280 pens or something or 286 and I haven't had a chance to use them all yet so you can with your inks if you go over things you can make them darker so you can get darkness and light where you want it and if you do them individually it's kind of like easier to do so that you can do you see that so that's with um, two coats on top of one, but I'm just going to go over the whole thing there. All right. And I've got my white gel marker because I want to put little kind of cartoony highlights. Now I'm just going to pull off my little fluffy bits for a minute. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to decide where, I always decide where my light's coming from. I suppose sometimes you should also consider a shadow, but it's the same thing, isn't it? Where's your shadow and where's your light? Warm your pen up on your finger to get your ink flowing. And just get some little dots in there just to give it a little bit of light where you think it might be. It doesn't have to be perfect. And if I go quiet, you know I'm having fun. So I've got some dots. And I'm just going to be happy with little dots. Now what will happen with alcohol ink, especially darker shades, is your white ink will absorb some of that colour. And you may end up with pink, which is probably what's going to happen to me. But I've got little highlights there. And that is how I will colour the rest of my grapes. Now for my um, leaves I've decided that I'm going to go with my lighter shade which is the vivid green um, on the leaves and I'm just going to go over and over them doesn't matter if you go over the edge because you're going to pop them out so you can basically see there what colour I'm doing these leaves and then for the um, swirly twirly viney bit I'm going to be using my deep olive and I'm going to do the whole thing with that as well so that the vine is kind of in the background if you will I mean it's still pretty and you'll still be able to see it but the leaves will be at the forefront of the um, the whole thing but you can see when you leave your die cuts in there 
just how quick and easy it is to do. But you can use colour card stock if you choose to. But then sometimes, you know, you can be limited, can't you, on uh, on the colours and the shades. So I'm just going to go away and finish doing those leaves and I'll be right back. Okay, so those are all coloured and because on my base I've kind of like got a black edge to the sunflowers and on the um, embossing folder area I've got my, my doodah, my foam blender and I'm just going to do the same to the grapes. I might put it on the leaves as well but you know just to tie everything in. Because, of course, one is a stamp and one is a die. So if you see that one on there now, it looks a little bit more elevated because it's got a black shadow compared to that one. I hope you can see that. Just gives it a little more, you know, something. And, of course, it's always nice to get the blending tools out and play with them. Yeah. Any excuse to use anything and everything. That's what we need. So I have got three of these. And like I said, I don't know whether it's an eccentric thing or or whether it's a correct thing to do, but I just love working in odd numbers. Whenever I see just two of something, it just doesn't feel right, if you know what I mean. Like I've got six leaves here, and I'm not sure that six leaves is right. I might take one away because maybe it should be five, or I might double one up, if you know what I mean, <laughs> so that it's just odd. Right, I'm going to carry on doing this and I'll be right back. Right, so I've got my little black shadow edges all the way around that I've done. And this is my base. And I could have my swirly twirly going wherever I wanted to. But I'm going to tuck it behind and have it facing that way. And that's probably where I'm going to have it. And I might leave this little spiral here just sticking up above the sunflower. So what I tend to do is get things where I want them and I might lift that up just a little bit, take it to just the top there. And then I'll just get my glue bottle and you know me and my glue bottle, sometimes it's always, you know, gunked up and I think that it is. So I'm just gonna poke my needle in it again off camera and uh, hope that it's going to work. Yeah, it is. Right. So I'm going to leave that exactly where it is because that's where I want it. And then I'm just going to hold it very gently in one place and insert a dot of glue along where I want it. Now, you don't have to put too much glue if you're going to apply stuff over the top because the stuff that goes over the top will also have glue and will help to hold the whole thing in place. Now, that bit keeps popping up because I've got this larger piece here that's forcing it. So, just a small touch of glue there and I'm going to hold that down. And that should be enough to hold that in. Now, I've got these couple of little squiggly wigglies that comes with it. But um, glue on my finger. Uh, I'm not going to use those until right at the very end. So spin that around and you can kind of see where I've got that going on. And then it's like I'm always saying, everything is like flower arranging. So, you know, deciding at what point you're going to put stuff, if you're going to have it up on foam pads, like I've tucked that one behind. Do I want that one there? I might have that there. Because I've got leaves, I can, you know, hide the fact of where those grapes are coming in. In fact, I think I might go underneath, underneath my spirally bit and head off down there with that one. So I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to go in and glue. So right underneath again, blob of glue. Remember, you've got your sunflowers down there. So those will hold those in place. Just going to put some glue there. I'm just quite literally just putting little dots underneath. And then even though you've got it there, you know, you might have to go back and 
just press again to make sure that it's taken hold so those are the area of the grapes and I am going to press again just want to make sure that everything's got contact and that should do it and then where do I want my leaves there's the thing and I think that I kind of want them sort of like semi hiding uh, you know the grapes I mean even though we spent a lot of time you know doing the grapes I don't mind partially hiding stuff so I'm going to go in there for that leaf and have that one there and then you know you can have them whatever angle you want I think I'm going to have that one going off in that direction so I hold that down I can kind of like gently go behind the grape with the other bit of leaf and just give it a press and just you know periodically go back over stuff just to make sure that it's gripped right so we've got that so far and I think I'm going to use a much smaller leaf now if I want that one there you can see my glue hasn't I didn't put my glue in the right place that's why so I'm going to do that I was going to pause for a second while, while I hold my grapes right so that's stuck down and this is the little one that I was going to put on there and I'm kind of like thinking that I'm going to put my glue here and have that a lot higher up and further over pop that one there so that I've got that one like that and then I want to kind of because as I said it's a die and it's a stamp I want to bring it all in together so I'm going to overlap the sunflowers on that bit and and use that large one and obviously I know where it's going to go so I kind of need my glue at the bottom section of the leaf and I'm going to go there onto that little curly bit that's behind it and I'm just going to hold that down so I've got something you know coming out onto my sunflowers too and then I think I'm going to have something going on behind the sunflower over on this side and so just glue on the back there and I'm just going to slide that in without making a mess I hope And just let that one rest behind the sunflower so that I'm kind of like connecting the picture I'll stick that down that's that one and I've got my tiny little one which I think I'm just gonna have it there yeah I'm just gonna pop that one there you know poking upwards so little bit of glue down on the bottom there so those two little pieces and I'm just going to stick it on yeah I think that's fine and then I've got two little swirly twirly bits and as I was saying you know about bringing your stamp into your die cut um, that's exactly what I'm going to do with this so I'm just going to put enough glue just on the top there and I'm going to connect it back up onto this one and just hold that so that I've got a little swirly bit coming off of that branch and then I think I've got a little bit of a space here so I'll stick this one um, there I've actually got grapes in my garden I love them I've got them uh, growing on an arch that my husband did for me out of a couple of cackle panels and they're just bent over and uh, I love to sit on the mower and go underneath and while I'm sitting underneath I can grab a few grapes <laughs> and then I carry on mowing the lawn yeah my dogs think I'm nuts bless them right so that is what we've done we've uh, got a blurred camera can we correct it
there we go so we've got the arrangement there of the little swirly bits and the leaves coming off over onto the stamp and behind the stamp and I just think that's great. And you can still get a sentiment on there. You can have something small going along your sunflower. You can even, you know, partially cover up what you've done and put a nice big bold sentiment onto there. So now we're going to stamp this. So I'll just grab my stamp platform and come back. Right, so this is the background stamp that we're going to do. And this is the um, stamp platform, which is the surprise creation one. And I'm just going to grab it out of the bag here. And you always have to remember when you're buying stamps on AliExpress that they measure the size of the carrier, not the actual stamp. So as you can see here, the stamp may be a quarter of an inch all the way around smaller than the carrier. So I'm just getting that off. And uh, I've got a piece of watercolour cardstock from Walmart. I'm just going to slide that in. And then I've got my stamp, which is nice and big. And I want to position it in a way that I can crop it down after. I think I've got that relatively straight. So, yeah. Let's shut the lid. Give it a press. I've got Versafine Claire here. My stamp platform is sliding around all over the place. But I'm just tapping up my stamp. Getting ink all over it. Try my best not to miss anything. I tend to do that with background stamps. I think I've been there and I haven't. But of course, the nice thing about using a stamp platform is you can go back and do it again. Right now, my paper's moved, so that's because it's bashing up against a pen. I'm just going to put that down and see what I've got. Just give it a gentle press so that I'm not over squashing. I can see here I need to put some pressure. Ooh, let's have a look at that. Let's just scoot my stamp platform out of the way. And that is your balloon background. Now you can see I've got ink down on that bit, which transferred to here. So I would need to um, tidy that up if I was going to do it um, properly. And I hope I didn't go off microphone there. I was just trying to explain that I got some black ink on the stamp which transferred but I've got a little Tombow marker here so let's just choose one little balloon let's go with this one let's see what we've got now this is a watercolour marker and um, if you're going to use them economically uh, I do suggest, you know, you put a bit down and then use a water brush rather than going around solidly colouring, which of course you can do, but it's just cheaper if you uh, mix it with water and you do get very similar shade. They are very highly pigmented. So I've got one little balloon there. It's actually shocking pink. And I can't really see because... The camera's in my way, but then all you would have to do is something like that, and let's see if it allows me to do it or if it's going to take up the ink. Just put your little white dots back in. But what a great background! I love that because I've got loads of dyes where you know I've got critters that are holding balloons and things, so that's going to be a really lovely background. But I digressed because we were here for MX Art. And this is what we did. So I hope that you enjoyed that. I am up tomorrow with um, a KS Craft Design Team haul. And don't forget that today is Wednesday. And that means Snap Click Supply, which is where I'm headed to now. So I'm going to go and see if there's anything that I like. Because as usual, it is Dollar Wednesday. Right. So once again, thank you so much for watching. And as usual, 
all links below. Bye.